So in this video, we're going to look at a couple of things um, regarding dates. Again, if you've seen the last video, we kind of started on this when we're looking at um, the age of a date. And now we're going to take it to another level. This is going to solve two things. The first will be um, slicing through dates in a different way. More importantly, we're going to, then, going to look at calculations such as week on week calculations which I think is important because it comes up quite often. And I've seen a lot of um, people showing different calculations of how you can do this. I think with a flag within your day table, it becomes a lot easier. Um, so let's dive in and have a look as to what I'm talking about. Cool. So we have our data. What we now want to look at is our query itself. Um, again, our date range is very, very straightforward. Um, we don't have a lot of um, columns here, and that's fine. We're going to add a column now. We're just going to add um, one column. Um, and as, as we do it, I'll explain what we're doing. So basically, I want to add a custom column. And what we're going to do is specify this week in the previous week. But as we do it, you can see we can do a whole lot more than that if we want to. So we can say, um, so if date is in, so we can either have previous or we can have this. So I've written the P, so it's just bringing up a previous, but let's start with is in. So if date is in, current we can have day month quarter huge number of things yeah we can really specify precisely what we want what we're going to say is in current week so if date is in current week then we look at date and then we go this week else if date is in previous so this time we're going previous because i'm going to say this week or last week so is in previous day month days quarter and weeks is in previous all this stuff and um, but we want previous week so is in previous week then oh excuse me date Then, and, uh, geez, I've made a mistake here. <laughs> if date is in current week date, then this week, uh, then previous week else now we don't want to see anything so we just call it like a null or a, or whatever or a blind let's just do it quickly this way so i kind of made a mistake when i was um, typing that this is what happens when you're switching between dax and m too much um so if and something to pick up on this is a nightmare when you auto select, it doesn't actually delete what you've already typed. So here, if date is in current week, then this week, else if date is in previous week, then previous week, else nothing. You can also specify a certain date range. You can also say is in previous. So if we um, quickly look at uh, then previous week, else. I'll delete this in a second, we don't want it, but just so you see it, if date is in previous. Um, so N comes up, and hours, all this type of stuff. Um, and for that, you could simply say is in previous N weeks. And then we would do as we did before, but then we would specify our actual number of n weeks so see like four 
and then four weeks. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be simply what you've um, written. It can be really anything. So this week, previous week, and as I said, whatever end weeks, end days. Um, so it, you're not just limited by what these specify in the code itself, but rather you can type in your date range here as well. But like I said, we don't want that. So we go back to what we had previous weeks and then previous week. Now we had else. So, and we're just going to call this um, pwcw slicer. Um, I'm going to use it as a slicer. I'm also going to use it in DAX, but we'll just name it that for the sake of argument. Cool. Hopefully that worked because I made a fair few errors when I was typing there. Whatever. But it worked. So I'll forgive myself. So we could add a lot more than that. As I mentioned, we can do months, um, year, end days. It's very, very flexible and they're really helpful to have in your date table. Um, again, I know it can be done with DAX. I prefer doing it this way simply because I think um, it's better to do it within the query editor rather than creating calculated um, tables, uh, columns in DAX. I don't like it. Each to their own. It's not my thing. So. Yeah, once you've had that, once you've added your custom column, you can then just load the data. This week, previous week, obviously you can see it matches our dates of 27th, 25th. Of course, as we're further in the week, it'll also say this week. We will only have three days of the current week. We go home and we go close and apply. So the first benefit we're gonna look at is the more simple slicer benefit. And um, yeah, that basically just allows you to click on show me this, show me that, yeah. So if I then just select that and I put it in um, a slicer, you know, here also when I left it blank, I really should have written instead of blank, call it like the rest or something. In fact, that's gonna annoy me, so I'm gonna do it now. I'm sorry. This is just the annoying way which I work. So added custom, reopen this. I hate it when it does that. Edit in this way. So, now, so if each date is in then this week, else if date is in previous week, then previous week, else, I'll just change it here, else, the rest, whatever. I just don't want it to be blank, basically. It's not a nice way of doing it. I'll also change the colors here because um, that's not particularly nice color scheme. <laughs> Dark gray and black doesn't particularly work well. So, as I say, quickly just change this so we can uh, see what we're looking at and change the slicer header again. Cool. Right. So, what we can do is with the slicer, it's a slicer, it's pretty basic. Show me this week, show me the other weeks, because I'm limited to this date range here, as you can see, and show me the previous week. So this is cool. So for me, this is a helpful thing um, because the user can just click on it or we can set it as standard and say, okay, only show this week when we first open the report. And then for me, it's really helpful to have be able to allow the user just to click this week, previous week, the rest. Alternatively, you could use it to kind of, I don't know, as, as a legend maybe um, within your data. So if you look at here and we look at this, visualization. If you use it as a legend, it's going to kind of help us like, um, I don't know, 
when we look at the range and it changes obviously we have a large data range here and you can kind of see the color codes go through obviously you would change the color code but if we select here the last um i don't know two uh, months so you can kind of see here what your values are you looking at again this is a smaller thing but you can use it for that um yeah what i'd rather look at however is um how you can use that within um dax yeah the calculations that you can make using the flags that we just put in because like i say it comes up quite often you know how do i do a calculation for previous week previous week to date now with this you can do it nice nice and easy yeah and we're going to look at that now so we have a flags we have the ability to write DAX. Let's see how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna create a new measure to show us just, just the previous week data. And obviously with the flag and our date table, that's pretty straightforward how we're gonna do that. Because so we can just go um, pedestrians as ever, excuse my typing, pedestrians previous week. And we're gonna go calculate and we're gonna go um, obviously yeah we already have my measure here for pedestrians so i can just say measure pedestrians and then use our lovely filter and that's going to be um what do we call it pw so slice now and that we want it to equal previous week That should work. See if it works. And we click on it, we add it to the visualization. Go to, excuse me, person previous week as a value. And I can't, obviously, because I have my legend, sort that out then. My lord. Yep. And now you can see. The values that we have added are just the values for the previous week. Cool. It's really straightforward and it's a flag that is working as a slicer, which we like. It's a flag that's helping with a previous week calculation, which I personally love. It's not a you know solution for every single thing that you will need. The previous week but if this is one if you want to show the previous week data this is a great way to do it yeah there's another thing you can do we we'll do it now previous week to date so not cumulative but previous week as in up until the third day if you will of the week just show so you can do like a like like comparison um and it's nice and simple we're going to call it um, pedestrians previous week to date. And it's going to start off in exactly the same way as our previous um, measure started, which is basically calculate our um, pedestrians. We'll say pedestrians previous week. Yep. And we will then use our um, date previous week calendar week column which we added again oh well yeah, we don't need that but i'll continue on maybe actually here i'll just use pedestrians yeah i'll just use pedestrians excuse me getting late and um, slice equals previous week and then we're gonna add a second filter. And here we are going to use our date age and we want it to be greater than or equal to, cause we're going age, so we're kind of working back over, greater than or equal to um, seven years. And then we'll close that off. So the hope is that with this one, because we've calculated our um, 
pedestrians our previous week slicer and then because we can say it's older than seven days it's only going to show us those values up until that age as is defined in our age column you get me yeah i'm i'm scared that's what's going to happen now so this is our pedestrians previous week and now if we add this one we see what happens and just change our legend so you can have a better look at what's going on there i think that's worked yeah because we have the fourth day of the previous week and what we're looking at now is we are currently in yeah so we're currently in thursday um yeah so one, two, three, four, four of that week range um yeah so we've had our previous week today we've had our previous week we have um our um, current week and we have the ability to slice through those so we've done all those things just by creating a flag in the data and i think it can solve um some calculations with a great deal of ease obviously it's not going to suit every single need every single thing that you want to do with week on week values but for those basic things i think it comes in quite handy and even if you don't want to use them for calculations i think it's cool to have them in just for using them as a slice of value yeah so um i hope as ever that was a help to you um I suspect that for some people, they have a different way that they prefer doing it. I think when we work with our reports, when we develop our, our, I don't know, our own best practices in our head or the things that we just enjoy the most, um, this is fine. Do it whatever way makes you happy. Um, but I'm very much a person of a bit of M code in um, Power, um, Power Query or Query Editor. And, um, yeah adding flags um, even if you have a great day table um, and it's got so many flags in there you'll always come across a situation where it doesn't have the flag that you need so it's helpful to know how to put that flag into the data yeah so that's about the top bottom of it um, I, I, as I said before I hope, hope it helps and um, I wish you um, a pleasant rest of your day or evening or whatever time zone you're currently in. Enjoy the remainder of your day. Thank you very much and uh, goodbye.